guys, so today is finally the day. I'm going to show you Biggie Small's new Halloween themed cage tour. Now, I didn't do the usual, you know, cage cleaning and then putting it all together. I was honestly a bit all over the place and just wanted to create a Halloween theme the best possible with taking a little bit more time to do it instead of having to worry about um, filming all of that because sometimes it takes me a while to get cage tours, especially themes, um, together. Are you gonna look in the camera? Look at everybody. Every time I like try to turn him, he turns away from the camera. What are you doing? Look, say hi to everybody. I know, he actually really probably wants to go back into his cage. I had him in the bin cage the whole time I was cleaning everything out. So I had him right here next to me and um, I put a few toys in the bin cage for him until I was finished. So, so you guys are going to straight up get his reaction, his first time reaction to his new setup in just a minute. So I thought I would show you guys everything that I've done inside of the cage behind me. And um, yeah, then we'll go ahead and put uh, Biggie Smalls into his cage and we'll watch him roam around and see what he thinks of it. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. So basically I have Biggie Smalls underneath this table right here. And I really, really love these little spider fairy lights that I found. Found, I think at Target they are so cute and I just really wanted to add some kind of fairy light because you all know that I love fairy lights <laughs> also on the front of this cage we have a little ghost garland which I thought was so adorable so here is just a little overview of what we got going on actually changed my mind I'm gonna go get Biggie Smalls put him in the cage and we can watch him explore at the same time I'm telling you guys what all this stuff is <laughs> Okay, so he seems really, really excited right now and just wants to explore literally everything. So I kind of have a lot going on in here at the moment. I got his little Heidi house here and I believe I got that from Lori. And I just love this one so much. On top, I have a little corner potty with um, his sand in it, his sand bath. A little kitty tea light holder that is ceramic over there. And I just have his little... Um, Willow Bridge right here as well. We got some oat sprays and then right here on the side I actually just hung it up from right here which worked out really really well and it just has um, a little pine cone and some wood shoes on there. Another little ceramic pumpkin tea light holder. A lot of this stuff you guys saw in my Halloween um, hamster supply haul so I'm not gonna go like in too much detail. I'll have it linked somewhere on the screen if you wanna go see um, everything in a little bit more detail. Here's another pumpkin hideaway and I just went ahead and put in some soft granule bedding and his little carrot crunchy chew. I'm using this little box right here for as a platform and then I just got a little chew toy on top. This water bottle right here in the corner. Now over here what I did is I wanted to add some of the Eco Earth bedding for him just so he has something else to dig in and I just thought you know what this would actually be you know like perfect for a Halloween themed as well oh my gosh did you guys just see his face that cracked me up so I just made a little section for him here we got another tea light holder also a little haunted house in the back corner now there's no hole in that or anything so we can't go in it it's just more for decoration Got some more oat sprays and a corn pop chew with some willow sticks. Let me zoom in so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So that is just basically how I set it up. What about this little chew toy right here? It's just a random uh, seagrass twist ball. <laughs> Do you like it? Does it look cute? Does it look cute? Yeah, looks like he's having a good time. This right here I actually ordered from Biovet a while ago. 
Um, it's just a little edible house and it had some carrot bits on top. I got his little mat over here with another little Halloween ceramic house. Put a few chew toys in it. It looks like he's actually enjoying right now. So that is really, really good. I got a little black and white terracotta pot. And a lot of you guys mentioned that this was probably a cheese dish. I am pretending that it is a candy corn dish and that is what I'm using for his food right now. Another little seagrass hut with a ghost tea light holder. And these are little Halloween chew toys that I ordered off of Etsy. Again, her shop is linked in that haul video, which I will have linked down below for you guys if you want to check it out. Um, but I love the chew toys and I really hope that he will enjoy them as well. Oh, he's looking at him. He's trying it out. It's like putting his nose through the little holes. Silly. Hello, yes, silly you. I just have his Carolina Storm Wheel in the blue or teal version. I really wanted to get the purple one. I'm still going to get that one, um, but I kind of ran out of time to get it before Halloween, but I think that the teal works just fine for now. I also would like to give him a whimsy chew. Here you go, buddy. I kind of forgot to put that in. So yeah, so here's just a little overview um, from the top. Also, I forgot to mention, what is he doing? I just heard him underneath there. Um, I forgot to mention, I am just using some Halloween tissue paper that I found at the dollar store. So I just put that on there. It was so super cheap and I really, really like it. So yeah, that was his Halloween themed cage. And I really, really do hope you guys enjoyed this video today. He's really, really enjoying the oat sprays right now behind me. <laughs> Love you guys so, so much. And I will talk to you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye.